All right, welcome back. Um, we are here today to talk about Edulastic and how to create a quick assignment uh, or quiz on Edulastic. I'm gonna head over to the left-hand side and go into my item bank. You will notice that my questions have already been filtered. If you're looking at how to find quality questions on Edulastic, make sure you check out an earlier video in this playlist about how to use a filter to find great questions. So I am only looking at Edulastic certified questions at this point. I'm going to go ahead and I'm just going to start scrolling down and just kind of see the questions that I'm, I'm seeing here. Um, here's a question that I'm really interested in on this P1 passage because it is of a poem. I'm going to go ahead and view that. I scroll down. Oh, I like the length of this poem. So if I've read that poem and I make sure that's a quality literature that I want my students to have, um, then I look at the question. Um, the question is pretty straightforward. What is the central idea of this poem? It is a one-part question. Um, and so I'm going to go ahead and this is the question I want to add to my assignment. So I'm going to add the current item. Now, if I was doing a, a full review of all the standards we've taught this year, I could scroll through and check out what the other questions are. And if we've taught these standards, I could add all of those items into my quiz or my assignment. Today, I'm just looking for the central idea questions. And so I'm sticking with just question eight. Um, notice up at the top, it now says create test with one item. So I've known that it's been added. I'm going to go ahead and exit out of there, and let's look for one more. Uh, this one says, what is the theme in the passage? It also says it's a multi-part. So I'm going to view that and see if I like the multi-part. Um, the first question says, what is the theme? Ooh, and then question B asks for support. This is a great type of question to add so that we know that kids can identify the theme and also identify text that supports that. Um, so I would have taken a peek at this text, make sure it's something my students would be able to understand and comprehend. Um, and then if I liked it, I would go ahead and I would add that current item. Again, I could scroll back and see if I like question one. Um, it's talking about meanings of words. So if that's something I wanted to assess or wanted to look into my students' knowledge on, I could add that. Um, let's say that we accidentally added all the items, and now I need to go back and remove that question. Okay, so let's go back and see what that would look like. Um, so I am pretend like I am finished. I'm gonna go ahead and create my test with three items. I'm gonna enter in the name. And then I can go to either add items if I wanted to add more, or I could review. And this is where I can see those questions that I've added. Remember, in this question here, I added the meaning of the word question, and I want to get rid of that one. So I'm going to push the blue plus to open up question two and three, because three is the question I want to keep, two is the question I want to get rid of. I'm going to go ahead and push the trash button here. And then I want to either remove the current item or remove all. I just want to remove the current item. So now I still have that theme question in my assessment. If I am done, there's a few options at the top. I can print that assessment if I have some students who might need the hard copy. Um, I also could share that assessment. Um, I could save it as a draft. I could publish this and then assign it later. So if I'm making it now ahead of time, I don't need to assign it yet. I would push that paper plane button or I could assign it straight to my students. I'm gonna go ahead and publish and assign later. So now it has been created. Um, it is currently in my private library. Um, I also could give this to everyone who is in my school. I could give it to certain individuals. I could type in their email or I could make it available by a link. I could copy this, share that with my PLC team so we all have access to the same assignment. If I'm at my dashboard, now I want to find that assessment. I'm gonna scroll over to the left-hand side and go to my library that says test. It opens up into usually into your entire library. I wanna go ahead and hover down to created by me, but notice that assessment is not there. That's because the filters that I've applied before they stay and they carry on. So notice at the top, this is filtered by grade six, ELA, English language arts. I didn't put any of that information onto my test. So I'm gonna X out of those. And now all my practice is there. This was the theme practice that I just created and I can easily assign it to my class.